What's up guys, it's Danny and we're back in another YouTube video and today it's going to be about the most requested video on the planet of Trove and it's the question, how do you get Radiant the fastest? Well, I'm here to tell you how I got Radiant the fastest. So, what? Alright, so let's start off with number one. So number one is saving up your flux. Like, you do not need to spend flux on some mounts some caches, some souls, whatever the hell you're, you're spending your flux on, don't spend it on. Make sure you have a goal in mind, like, yeah, I'm going to save this many flux, or this much flux, and then, so then you won't be able, to, then you will tell yourself, oh, I can't spend that, I need to save up for this. So, that's number one, how you get um, Radiant really quick. You just need to tell yourself that I do not need this item. I just need to get Radiant, and then I can get whatever the item I want after that. The second thing is, um, it's pretty much flux based. This is actually really, really flux based. It actually is only flux based because that's the only way you can get, um, uh, pentaforges. Yeah, pentaforges. But there's also another way is, is buying Shaper's Vision. This is a good way to get some flux as well as some pentaforges. But there's a slight chance you're gonna get some pentaforges because uh, they're pretty rare in Shaper's Visions. They used to be really common when you when you're opening um shadow or no you're opening your the daily dragon caches. You usually you, you used to be able to get them in there, but now it's all in Shaper's Visions. So what I recommend you guys doing is doing dungeons or doing the shadow towers every single week because every single week if you do the whole dungeon and this is a pro tip, guys. This is a pro tip. Pro tip. If you do the hard dungeons first, it will complete the, the normal dungeons, so you, do, so you do not need to go back and do the normal dungeons. That's how you clear it really quick. So if you do one dungeon a day, or you do the all on the weekend, you can get five Shaper's Visions, which grants you about 20k flux every week. So if you can do Shadow Towers every single week, you can get about five Shaper's Visions. Th which is a lot. There's also a chance you can get 9,000 flux. So if you get 9,000 flux for every single one, you're gonna get about 45k, I guess maybe. But that's what I did on the last Shaper's Vision thing. I got 45k flux. So um, is that 45 flux? 45? Yeah, that is 45k or almost 50k flux, give or take. Um, but yeah, that's a really good way to get um Pentaforges and Radiant really quick. Um. That's pretty much it. And the third thing, the third thing is um, just farming U6 dungeons. Like I said in my Q&A video, uh, if you have, go with a lot of magic find, get a magic find ring, get magic find on your weapon. On the, the last lot, I think it has magic find or something like that. So make sure you get a lot of magic find when you're doing U6 dungeons because there's a chance you can get uh, shadow level 3, shadow level 4, as well as shadow level 5. But shadow level 5 takes quite a while to get. So if you're... A long time or if you're willing to play for a really long time grind out dungeons leveling up some classes as well that's a good way to get radiant really quick so um what you want once you get enough flux to get your pentaforges you have to keep in mind there's another set of leveling up right after that so you're gonna need more purifying dragon flames and more flux and more eyes so yeah make sure you have all that ready but if if you're doing shadow dungeon shadow towers I keep saying shadow, shadow Dungeons, but if you're doing Shadow Towers, you can get a bunch of eyes already from the Shadow Caches, which is really good. So, um, pretty much doing Shadow du Shadow du Oh my god, Shadow Towers is the fastest way to get Radiant, because, um, there's a chance you can get a Pentaforge. You, can, you guarantee, you're guaranteed Flux by doing Shadow Towers, because of the Shaper's Visions. Or you can sell the Shaper's Visions for more Flux, and then get a Pentaforge then, but... Yeah, Shadow Towers is the way to go if you're willing to want, if you want to get Radiant really quick. So yeah, I uh, hope this cleared up a lot of things for you guys. Um, one last thing is, do not waste your flux like me. As you can tell, as you can tell, I got all these things already. Got bought every single one. That's how I got Radiant so like. That's why it took me so long to get Radiant because I bought all of these cool mounts and everything like that, and uh, spent most of my money. I know I haven't unlocked like a lot of them but 
you know what can you do right but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed hope this help hope this guide helped you out a lot make sure you drop a like comment subscribe this is gonna be going on right now for 1000 subscribers go check it out down in the description down below it should be the first link that pops up or the first link down in the description down below so yeah hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you guys all in the next episode hey guys, it's danny and we're back with another youtube video and yes i i remember i told you guys, to show you guys how to stop your trope from crashing in the last episode